Congratulations to the Premiers in Rugby League centenary year, the Manly Sea Eagles. No, I probably wasn't supposed to come back on. Um, that wasn't really the plan, you know. It's, Desi has his structure of reserves, and, and obviously Steve, he you know, got a bit of a knock and stayed down and put his hand up and said, you know, they, you know the, the trainer said, you're coming off, and um, they said, grab your headgear, and I put it on. And Just before that, I was one of the front rowers was to come off, but then Stevie hurt his neck, and there's no way I was playing in the centres. So next thing, Beaver gets his crap headgear on and starts walking up the sideline. When Stevie went off, he, Having Beaver come on, oh, that's pretty cool. I get to play his last seven minutes in a Manly jersey or whatever it was, last little bit with Beaver. I think if you look at the coverage, I jog on there and I'm not really sure where I'm playing. I think I'm going, which side am I? Where am I playing? Am I going into the centres? Am I in the back row? What's, you can see me sort of saying it. And um, that's as, you know, that's as they started playing that ball. All the boys had for him, that was, there was just no better finish, I don't think. You know, um, you know, it was just it was just awesome you can see the emotion you watch the replays now um, and you can see the emotion on all the guys faces you know they we knew that we were going to send him out not only with a premiership ring but then he scored a try in it as well 180 you know career tries like who does that i think i scored three in my career everyone knows how, how beaver and manly are pretty one one in the same really um everyone knows he's, he's, the, he's a one club man and for, for that day to um yeah, end, end with Beef scoring a try. Um, we thought that was going to be the last try of the game, but there was obviously one, one more to come still. But, you know, it was just to see how happy the whole team was and, you know, be able to give, give Beef something special. In his last game for Manly, it's, it's something I'll, I'll always hold pretty dear as well. Kingy popped it back on that pass, pass, sort of flicked it onto Robbo. And he might have, like, he, here we are, he might have had like 12 metres. And I remember thinking, he scored three tries already. If I was him, I would go for four tries. Has anyone ever scored four tries in a grand final? Yeah, he's definitely going for four. Um, obviously, within three metres or four metres or something, he flicks it back in and then I start crapping myself. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. You've got your chance to catch it, don't drop it. And it's sort of behind me and I swivel and um, put it down. And it's, <clears throat> it's you know, the, my favourite, greatest try I've ever scored. Snake and Chock and two guys I've played with for years. and. Yeah, they're the first two there and they're jumping on me and everyone's coming over, whacking me on the head and rubbing my headgear and uh, it was it was surreal, you know, it wasn't a real it didn't seem real. Yeah, you know, we walked back to halfway and I think you still see on the on the thing, I'm shaking my head just going, did that just happen? Is this you know, the whole the whole afternoon was wasn't real. It was, you know, like dreamlike. We were shaking our heads and looking around and is that the score like is this um but that was that was a pretty cool moment wow uh, look rugby league is not about fairy tales and it's a bit cliche to use that terminology but i've got to say that if there was to be a finale to not only a career but to a game we've seen both for the number 17 steve menzies